Hi everyone, I'm Leah and welcome to DIY Beauty Lab. Today I'm going to be showing you how I tan at home with this awesome Norbell tanning system. I do it in the privacy of my own home. It saves me a ton of money. Can't wait to show you, so stick around. So if you love all things DIY beauty and anti-aging, then this is probably the channel for you. I would love it if you would subscribe below. Also hit the notification bell if you wanna know every time a new video drops on Wednesdays at two o'clock. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I get started, I'm gonna give you a little backstory on me and tanning. When I was younger, I used to go into the tanning salon probably about three times a week. I fried the heck out of my skin and I'm paying for it. I've got a lot of age spots and I'm just nonstop trying to do whatever I can to fix all the problems that I created with tanning. So now I will not let the sun touch my skin at all. I am constantly all lathered up with sunscreen. I always wear SPF on my face. I'm wearing hats and spray tanning has really been where it's at for me because it allows me to have a little bit of color on my skin without damaging it. The only problem is, is that a spray tan only lasts about a week and it's about $20 every time you go in to get a spray tan, so that adds up real quick. So this at-home kit was only $300. And so if you like to tan, this is definitely worth the investment. I did a lot of research on which ones were the best and everyone said that this one was and I've used it a few times and I definitely love it. Now, I'm not going to be demonstrating this on myself only, only because there's no way I'm getting in a bikini in front of you guys, but I did use my brother and sister-in-law who are hottie patatis, and so they will be demonstrating it for you. So while that is playing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to use this. It is actually very, very simple. This is the part that the tanner goes in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour whichever tanner I decide. I'm gonna be using the dark today, but it also comes with light. Now I have used this recently and I just keep the tanner inside of here so it doesn't go to waste, but it comes with two of these containers. One is to be used to, be cl to clean it out after the fact and one you actually put the tanner in. Now this is the motor, it comes just like this and then it has a tube that comes separate. It's a very, very long. And so what you do is you just take the end here and you pull this back. So you'll notice there's like a little thing here. You pull that back and then you just stick that right in and then release it and then it's locked. So it can't come out. So that's the first step. Then what you're gonna do you're going to take the other end and you're going to do the same thing where you just pull this back like that pull it back and then you're just going to place that right inside and then let it go and now that's locked okay now it's not plugged in yet don't plug it in yet so then you're going to take one of your two yours will be empty mine already has the tanner in it but you're going to take one and unscrew it and then you're going to pour in your tanner when you're tanning yourself you're only going to probably use about this much so you don't need to put a whole lot in but even if you do put a lot in you can just put the lid back on and save it for next time so this is the dark right here so then i'm going to take this and put it on the end and i'm going to screw it in like this i'll screw it in and ready to go so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in. Now, once it is plugged in, this is how you turn it on. There's this little on button right here. You're just gonna go ahead and push that and it's going to turn on. I'm not gonna turn it on right now for this demonstration. You'll be able to tell in the video that's happening exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna really quickly tell you exactly how this is supposed to work. Now, when you are tanning somebody, you just go one spray motion, whether it's to the side or up and down, but you, hold down this thing right here and you spray across and then you let it go. You don't hold it down and then go back over again. You just hold it down, go across, let go. Same thing for if you are going up and down, you hold it down. Once you get to their feet or wherever you're ending, you let it go. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. When you are going sideways, you're going to want the stream to be like this. When you are going up and down, you're gonna want the stream to be like this. Otherwise, if it's like this and you're going down, you're just gonna have a line right down the person and it's not, that's not gonna look good. 
Now let me see if I can explain this correctly. But when you are going up and down, you want this nozzle thing to be up and down. And the reason why is because as it's gonna spray, it's spraying sideways, like this. It's spraying sideways. And that's what you want when you're going up and down. The second that you want to go sideways, let's say you're going sideways on the person, like this. You wanna turn it to where these things are going sideways. These two little knobs are going sideways. And now the, the spray is going like this. So it's like that. Okay, so when you are going sideways, you want these two little knob things pointing sideways. And then when you're going up and down, you turn it so it's going up and down. Hope that made sense. Now when you are using this spray tanning machine, you wanna make sure that you put lotion on any areas that are drier, like your elbows, your feet. You definitely wanna put lotion on the bottom of your feet so that you don't get tanner all over it. Now this does spray kind of a powder, so it's going to look a lot darker than it's actually going to look once you rinse it off. So don't freak out once you spray this on and think, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so dark, I've gotta rinse this off. Just let it develop for several hours and then rinse it off and I can guarantee you it's going to be three shades lighter than it is when it comes out of here. All right, now that we've talked about how to set it up and you've seen me actually using it, we're gonna talk about how you clean it and how you store it. So remember how I said you have this extra one, you're gonna to wanna to put some warm water in here. You're gonna to wanna to take this part out, put the lid back on this other one so it doesn't spill. And then you're gonna take this one that has water in it, warm water, and then you're going to take and put this back on and then you're just gonna hold this down and let it run through so that it gets the water all up and through this little nozzle and cleans it out. And then you're gonna go ahead and take this off, dump it out and then put a fresh clean one back on here to protect this and then that is how you store it. I highly recommend getting the tent that you saw in the video. That thing works great. You just fold it up when you don't wanna use it and then you just pop it out when you do wanna use it. Works great if you wanna tan multiple people. I must say it is a massive pain in the butt if you just wanna tan yourself and you have to get all this out and find somebody that'll tan you. But it's definitely worth it if you tan often and you wanna save some money. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. Also hit the thumbs up button and also hit the notification bell if you wanna know every time a new video drops on Wednesdays at two o'clock. Also, if you wanna follow along with all the behind the scenes from all of my videos that I do, go ahead and head over to the Instagram page and follow along there. Also, we have some really great freebies that you can download off of my website for DIY everything, beauty, skincare. Um, head over there, it's the DIY Beauty Lab. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.